Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. We'll be getting started in just under a minute. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. Good evening, and welcome to the Take Action Partners Discovery Call, featuring the Money Max account presentation. My name is Dale Dix, and I'll be your presenter for the next 30 minutes or so. Just a little about me. I'm a retired Marine, and following the Corps, I went on to retire from Fannie Mae, where I was in charge of diversity and inclusion training for about 10 years. During this time, I also became licensed in life insurance, mortgages, and real estate. I'm currently a managing director with United Financial Freedom, where I've been involved off and on since 2006. I'm also currently using the fantastic product that we're gonna be discussing this evening, and I'm on track to be totally out of debt in 2025. So that said, and without further ado, let's get started. I want you to know that you're in the right place at the right time. The information that you're gonna hear this evening can be life-changing if you take it seriously and don't procrastinate. We're gonna talk about a solution, a solution to a huge problem, one that has caused people, people's health to decline, created marital crises and emotional distress, and a variety of other traumatic events in people's lives. Ladies and gentlemen, that problem is death. I have a question for you. Have you ever thought about life in terms of who succeeds and who fails? It can be both fascinating and startling. The Social Security Administration years ago did a study where they tracked 100 people over the course of 40 years. What they discovered was very sobering. First, at the end of 40 years of work, 54 people were broke. They were dependent on social security, relatives, friends, and charities just to make it through the month. Another 36, unfortunately, were dead. They died before even completing the 40 years, and they did not get to enjoy the fruits of their labor. Five needed to continue to work. Four were financially secure, and one, only one out of 100, was wealthy. So what does that tell us? Well, the sobering reality is for every 100 people after working hard for 40 years, only 5% will be financially successful, while 95% will end up dead or dead broke. The question is, which group will you be in? We believe we can help. Unfortunately, debt has become the American way of life. And the root cause has to be that there's no financial education in our schools. 
We have little to no education in schools about personal finance, and yet finances are the foundation of everybody's household. There was a study which found that only 21 states require one class on money in high school. And of those that do, they only scratch the surface with topics like balancing a checkbook. Do you think that's enough? What percentage of states do you think teach sex education, lacrosse, or broadcast journalism in their schools? Almost 50 out of 50. Now, how much sense does that make to you? Well, there's a saving grace. Another study revealed that most of our kids think a personal finance course would benefit them the most. And there are some movements out there, like ours here at United Financial Freedom, where we're on a crusade to turn this negative trend around. So there's no wonder that finances are a major cause of havoc in our society. It's the number one cause of divorce, and it's the number one cause of personal stress, which leads to physiological changes and issues in our body. So why isn't it taught in school? Do you think it's by chance? Or do you think it's intentional? Well, suffice it to say, the rich get richer while the poor get poorer. That said, we are committed to doing something about it and making a significant difference. And that's why we're here tonight. And hopefully that's why you're here as well. In America today, debt is at an all time high. This is true of both our national debt and our consumer debt. Our national debt is over $28 trillion, and our consumer debt is over $14 trillion. Consumer debt consists of things like mortgages, credit cards, student loans, auto loans, to name a few. We have turned into a society where the American way of life is one where we buy things that we don't need with money we don't have, to impress people we don't know. The result, debt. Now, on a brighter note, if you're watching this webinar and are like most people, you probably want to get out of debt. You're not alone. The vast majority of Americans are drowning in debt, and yet they don't do anything about it because they don't know where to start. You, on the other hand, you are doing something about it. You showed up this evening, so congratulations. Folks, debt is big business. And the less you and I know about how to manage debt, the more profit the big institutions make off of us. Although debt helps us pay for things we want when we really don't have the money to do so, debt can cost us our future, especially if we don't understand the difference between good debt and bad debt. Or if we don't know how to pay off that debt. So if it seems like no matter what you do, you can't make any real progress on your debt, well, it's because the system is set up that way on purpose. And the only one who's going to save us is us. Even marketing has adjusted to accommodate and thus promote us being in debt. Just think about it. They no longer advertise how much something costs, Rather, they talk about how much the minimum payment is. And of course, they are counting on that. You making the monthly minimum payment and them making even more money off of you year after year after year. If you've done any research at all, you know that traditionally, when we want relief from the burden of debt, we're told to consolidate your debt for a lower monthly payment or go refinance to a lower interest rate. And while both of these are reasonable approaches, the reality is that most people, when they do that refinance or consolidate their debt, they continue to pay the minimum monthly payment. So all they really do is extend the problem and restart the clock on that debt. Or maybe you've heard about the bi-weekly program. If you don't know what a biweekly program is, it goes like this. Say you've had a long, you've, you have a long-term monthly debt payment that you're making. 
you take that payment and cut it in half, and you send that half payment to the creditor every two weeks. So you end up at the end of the year sending an extra month's payment for the year. That's great. The challenge is that most people think that when they do that, they're cutting the term of the loan in half. But actually, that is not the case. It's mathematically impossible. On average, the biweekly payment will shave off about six years on a 30-year mortgage. So instead of being paid off in 30 years, you will be paid off in 24 years. Now, that's a pretty good result. At least you're doing something to get ahead of the bank schedule. You are doing something to pay down that debt faster. Now, if you listen to the financial gurus out there, and they do give some fairly good advice, and I think they really do want people to get out of debt. One of the financial gurus says, reduce your standard of living. Eat those ramen noodles. Don't enjoy your life. Save every penny you have. When you get an extra penny, use it to pay down that debt. The problem is the financial gurus cannot agree on which debt to tackle first. When you have extra money, one of the gurus says, send the money to the debt with the highest interest rate. Another one says, no, 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 that's not how you do it. Target the debt with the lowest balance. Once you get it paid off, roll that payment over, add it to the payment for the next debt, and repeat the process until all debts are paid off. This is called snowball or debt roll down method. So we have competing financial gurus giving compl conflicting advice. How do you know what to do? How do you know what's right for you in your situation? The reality is there's only one mathematical equation that leads to the fastest way to pay down the debt. And that mathematical equation is at your fingertips. It's inside the Money Max account system. The Money Max account is not about refinancing. You don't refinance, nor do you do any type of debt consolidation or negotiation. None of that. There's no change to your standard of living, so you don't have to go out and invest in ramen noodles. It is not a biweekly payment. It is not a debt roll-down program. It's not even a concept of theory. So let's talk about what it is. Well, it's a web-based financial GPS. This system looks at money coming in and money going out. It looks at all the variables based on the timing of your monthly movements of household cash flow, as well as all the variables associated with your debt. It identifies that one mathematical solution for you to pay off your debt fastest. It then shows you step by step, turn by turn, exactly how to do just that, become debt free in the shortest time possible. It is an individualized plan for your unique situation. No one size fits all cookie cutter solution. It will look at not only your current debt, but allow you to forecast and plan for any future debts. You know, like a new car purchase or maybe a new roof for the house. The Money Max account has a proven 15 year history in helping our customers pay down well over $2 billion in principal. No more guesswork. What should I do? Should I target the highest interest rate? Should I target the lowest balance? It removes all the guesswork from the equation. It does it for you, not based on magic, but based on math. That is precisely what a mathematical equation is supposed to do. And your finances are math. The key is, are you sending the right amount to the right debt at the right time? Please bear with me. Let's look at an amortization schedule. Specifically, let's take a close up look at what is most likely your largest debt. If you're a homeowner, that would most likely be your mortgage. Now this particular amortization schedule is for a $300,000 mortgage at 4% interest with a monthly payment of $1,432.25. For illustrative purposes and to keep it simple, we'll round down to the nearest dollar 
and just talk about a monthly payment of $1,432 payable over 30 years. This is the amortization schedule for that mortgage. Let's imagine it's your mortgage for the purpose of this illustration. You will notice that at the end of year one, 69% of your payments went to interest. That's the interest that you paid in year one. Now remember, this mortgage has a 4% interest rate, right? Right, what a joke. Fast forward to five, year five. We see that over 63% of our payments went to interest. Fast forward again to year 10, we see that over 55% has gone to interest. And lastly, to year 15, where we see that over 46% of all payments went to interest. There's got to be a better way, folks. And you know what? There is. So how on earth do the banks get away with claiming that this mortgage has a 4% interest rate when so much more of our payments is going to interest? Hmm. Let's take an even closer look at the actual breakdown of that payment. The monthly payment is $1,432. Of that first payment, $432 goes to principal, while $1,000 goes to interest. That means 70% of your payments went to interest. That also means a 70% profit to the banks. But don't worry, you're on a roll in month two as a whopping $2 more goes to principal. You now have $434 going to principal and $998 going to interest. Now in year five, over $85,000 has been paid, but only $28,000 went to principal. That's over $57,000 that went to interest. That is double the amount that went to principal. Many people will refinance their mortgages between years five and seven. This means that they are resetting the mortgage back to the start and throwing away all the interest that they have already paid. Now, I'm not proud to say, but I also have been a victim of this. And even after I learned how compound interest works, I knew better, but I couldn't do better until I learned about the Money Max account. So, do you have any idea how long it takes to get one halfway through this mortgage? You think it you would think it would be 15 years, right? Since it is a 30-year mortgage. Nope. In this scenario, with a 4% interest rate, it takes 19 years and 3 months to make it to the halfway mark. You have now paid over $330,000 in monthly payments, and your remaining balance is still just $149,966. You are only now at the one halfway mark. Remember, the original mortgage amount was $300,000. Are you, you're gonna end up paying $515,000 over the life of this mortgage. That's $250,000 over and above the original mortgage. That represents 72% of the original mortgage that you're paying in interest that you're handing over to the bank for the privilege of borrowing just $300,000. Now, while it may sound like it, I am not against banks. They play a pivotal role in our economy. But by, that, by the same token, I do think that the disparity between what they pay depositors for the use of their money, and you do know that banks don't have any money of their own, right? And what they charge borrowers for the use of their depositors' money, well, the disparity there is just obscene. We work hard for our money, and we deserve to keep more of our money in our own pocket, as opposed to handing it over to the bank. I'm just saying. So how can we accelerate this mortgage amortization schedule? Well, let's break it down. And let's say you just got a new mortgage. It is a $300,000 mortgage at 4% interest and you've not even made the first payment yet. See how it's broken down with $1,000 going to interest that first month and $432 going to principal? Let's play a game of what if. 
What if you can afford to pay all of these principal amounts up front? If you add it all up, it totals $2,615. Now, I understand that most people don't have an extra $2,600 just laying around. I get that. And I promise you, I am not creating money out of thin air. We're just playing a game of what if. Now, the way the amortization schedule works is, anytime you pay the monthly principal amount in advance of when it's due, it automatically cancels the corresponding interest amount. That one-time investment of $2,615 just saved you $5,979 off the back end of the mortgage. That's a pretty good return on investment. Would you agree? As a matter of fact, that's a 180, that's a 128% return on investment. Why don't we do this more often? Well, because most people simply don't have an extra $2,600 laying around. Now, our program does not create money out of thin air, so don't worry about that. But it is a powerful system, and we're going to review very quickly some of the strategies under the hood of that, under the hood of that engine, and hopefully you'll start to understand just why it is so awesome. Our system is about making sure that every single penny, nickel, dime, quarter, or dollar that you make is either canceling interest or earning interest. Our program combines banking strategies with advanced math and innovative technologies to make sure that your money starts to bank like the bank. It's about turning around those rules of banking in your favor so that you can pay off that debt as quickly as possible and save as much money in interest as possible. Now, there are just four requirements to use our system, and they are, you need debt. Most people have that, so that works out well. You also need a checking account. You need a savings account. And last but not least, you need the secret sauce. You need the Money Max account program. There's also the option of using a line of credit. Whether a home equity line of credit, a personal line of credit, or a business line of credit. If you have one of these lines of credit and would like to use it instead of a checking and savings account, it's your prerogative to do so. That said, the advantage of doing so is negligible. And it, it probably would not make sense to establish one of these lines of credit just for this purpose, when you can just as well use an existing checking and savings account. Now, my understanding is by using a line of credit, it would only reduce the total payoff time by two to three months. At this point, I would like to interject that as of November the 1st, we have a new version of the Money Max account. It's called the Money Max Account Pro, MMA Pro. The MMA Pro entails the addition of a third engine to drive our software's capability. The first two engines are checking and savings and advanced line of credit. While the third and ultimate engine, we refer, we refer to it as the Wealth Builder account. Suffice it to say, the Wealth Builder account is a monster. It's a game changer. It's an industry changer. And in my military vernacular, it's a force multiplier. And I'll leave it at that. There's much, much more to come. Let's take a closer look at how our system works if we just use checking and savings. And for your information, 70% of our clients, in fact, use checking and savings. Now, our system is based on a lot of different money-saving strategies, but we're only going to talk about four of them here. And they are interest accumulation, interest float, interest cancellation, and strategic payoff. Let's look at one possible scenario. Introducing John and Rebecca Jones, who have $4,000 of monthly household income, $4,800 of monthly expenses on average, and about $200 left over at the end of the month. We call this discretionary income. Of course, sometimes the expenses are more and sometimes they're less. We're going to target one debt right now, keeping things nice and simple. 
So we have one mortgage with a $200,000 balance and a 6% interest rate. The monthly payment is $1,199.10, and the term is 30 years. And since we want to practice a little bit of what we call interest flow, we're going to include a credit card with a zero balance, a 12% interest rate, and a 20-year term. This part is optional, however, but we want to show how the interest float strategy can be used with our system. Now, in month number one, John and Rebecca's paycheck comes in totaling $5,000. Again, the system looks at money coming in and money going out. The goal is, the math, is to mathematically to find the mathematically most efficient way to pay down the debt. Now the system says, you know what? Let's not have this money just sitting in your checkings account. Let's move it over to your savings account. So John moves the $5,000 from checking to savings where it can start to accrue interest. In the meantime, John and Rebecca, and Rebecca are going to put everything and anything they possibly can onto that credit card. And they're going to practice what is called interest flow. All $4,800 of their expenses are put on the credit card over the course of the month. That includes their mortgage payment, auto expenses, groceries, utilities, etc. Now we know that not all bills can be paid with a credit card, but this is strictly for the purpose of illustrating the strategy. After making the monthly mortgage payment of $1,199, the mortgage balance only decreases by $199. And their $5,000 of monthly income was allowed to set in their savings account all month and accrue interest. They earned $8 at 2% interest. It's not a lot, but it's an example of some interest accumulation. Now, in month number two, the $5,000 of household income is again deposited in checking. Let me ask you a question. If you start out with a $0 balance on your credit card and you put debt on the card over the course of the month, and then you pay that card off in full at the end of the month, how much interest accrued? Well, the answer is zero. And that's called interest float. John and Rebecca Jones have allowed themselves to borrow money at 0% interest for 30 days while their money was in their savings account accruing interest for 30 days. Now the system says, let's go ahead and pay off that credit card in full. So they send $4,800 from their checking to the credit card, paying it off in full. Then the system says, hey, you're paying a lot of interest on that mortgage. Let's start paying it down. It tells them to move money from their savings over to their checking account, $3,789 to be exact. Now the system tells them to take that $3,989 from their checking and make a principal only payment to their mortgage. They are now canceling interest on their mortgage. That one payment of $3,989 eliminated 16 payments, saving them $18,746. Folks, I don't know about you, but I'm getting so excited. That's a substantial amount of interest cancellation, and this is only month two. Now you might be thinking, hold on, they still have to live. How do they live now that they have zero in their checking? Well, remember, they, they're still putting all their monthly expenses on that credit card, and they will pay it off in full at the end of the next month before the payment due date. So all is cool. In this scenario, we had $199,000 balance at the, at the beginning of month number two. After we made that additional payment of $3,989, the balance was reduced to $195,000 by the end of month number two. Check out our before and after. Before, we had 358 payments remaining after month two. But after applying the Money Max account, 
we only have 342 payments remaining. We eliminated 16 payments by that one transfer of money. And originally, we were scheduled to pay $231,677 in interest over the life of the mortgage. Now, we are set to pay just over $212,931 in interest over the life of the mortgage. We just wiped out $18,746 in interest. You applied just $3,989 and got back $18,746 in savings. That's a 369% return on investment. That is money you will not have to pay the bank. It's canceled forever. Now let's look at a side-by-side -side comparison of a conventional bank program versus using the MoneyMax account system for paying off a $200,000 mortgage. In one year, based on the bank schedule, this person would have a balance of $197,000. However, using the MMA, their balance is down to $184,000. Following the bank schedule, it would take 5.5 years to come close to the same balance our system achieved after just one year. And of course, the total repayment time, according to the bank schedule, is 30 years, while our program would have the loan paid off in just 10.4 years. And instead of paying over 231,000 in interest, according to the bank schedule, our system would have you paying only 70,000 in interest. That is a total interest savings of over $167,000. Can you imagine what you could do with an extra $167,000 in your bank account? Again, everybody's situation is diff different, but this side-by-side -side comparison is an example of how powerful our system can be when it comes to paying off debt and saving money that would have been spent on interest had they not followed the Money Max account system. I love the graph at the bottom of the slide. It clearly depicts the stark contrast between the bank's plan and the Money Max account. When you think about the fact that people are living longer these days, and most are more worried about outliving their money than dying, imagine how life-changing it would be to be totally out of debt in the next 10 years, own your home outright, and free to redirect monies previously earmarked for paying monthly debt to your future retirement savings. Folks, we're talking transformative. We're talking life-changing. You know, most people don't have just one debt, but rather they have multiple debts. And when you look at multiple debts, it's rather difficult to decide which debt do I pay off first. Remember when we talked about the financial guru's advice? Even they don't agree on which debt to tackle first. We started with a mortgage at $200,000 and 6% interest. But what if we had a student loan at 7% interest? and an auto loan at 7.25% interest. Maybe you bought furniture for the new house at 7.125 interest. In this situation, which debt would you pay off and why? The more debt we have, the more payoff options there are to choose from. How do you know that you're choosing the right one? The term for what we are discussing here is, the, is strategic debt payoff. And the reality is the wrong decision is going to cost you time and money. You might be wondering why you can't just make additional principal payments yourself. Well, unfortunately, it is far more complex than that. You see, according to FICO, Fair Isaac Company, the average person has 13 active creditors. You heard me correctly, 13. That means that every single month there are over 6 billion different strategies. 6 billion different potential combinations of ways to pay off that debt. So what is the likelihood that you will make the right decision every single time? As a matter of fact, it is highly unlikely. It is more likely that you will make the wrong decision most of the time. So why not just eliminate that glaring inefficiency in exchange for peace of mind? 
why not just use the Money Max account? Hmm. Well, folks, it should come as no surprise that a powerful program like the Money Max account has been featured in a variety of nationally distributed magazines, as well as on radio and TV. But you know, in all likelihood, the best national recognition we could possibly have gotten was from Ernst & Young. You see, Ernst & Young came knocking on our door back in 2008 and did some intensive due diligence. They are actually responsible for auditing publicly traded companies and doing what is right for the consumer. They're in charge of consumer oversight protection. So when they came to our doors, they wanted to investigate and ensure that our company is in fact doing everything that we say we're doing. They went through our finances with a fine tooth comb. They sat down with our executive team and they had their financial planners and accountants scour through our program. And after their extensive and intensive due diligence, not only did they find that we are in fact a debt-free company that practices what we preach, they also found that our executive team is second to none and our customer service exceptional. They further found that we are in fact doing what we say we are doing. We are consistently helping our customers pay off their loans in as little as one third to a half the scheduled time. And they were so impressed, they awarded us the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award 2008 in the Utah Region Financial Services Division. Now think, now this is a similar award as was received by you may recognize a few of these names, Apple, Starbucks, eBay, Microsoft, and many other companies that are nationally recognized for excellence. At the end of the day, the true strength of our program is all about our financial GPS. Have you ever used the GPS in your car to get where you want to go? Isn't it like the ninth wonder of the world? I mean, it's right up there, right next to compound interest. Would you agree? Most people have one. You just put in the address where you want to go and the GPS gives you turn by turn directions. Imagine having that type of technology for your finances. That's what we provide. You simply tell the system how much you owe for how long. What is your interest rate and what type of interest, fixed or adjustable? Tell it about your income. How many, how often, how much? Is it commission based or not? What's coming down the road? things like vacation or a new car purchase or some major purchase. And when those unexpected expenses happen, which I call life, you simply tell the system and it will, you got it, recalculate. Now let's compare our financial navigation system to the GPS in your car. Just like the GPS in your car guides you to make all the turns, the MMA guides you to pay off all your debts. And just like the GPS in your car takes away the stress of deciding which route to take when obstacles happen, the MMA takes away the stress when complicated financial decisions come, come up. Your GPS in your car helps to keep you focused. So does the MMA. It helps you stay focused on your financial plan, your roadmap to becoming debt free. The GPS in your car tracks your success as you follow the route. So does our system. It tracks your success as you follow the program. And lastly, just like the car's GPS gives you the time that you will arrive at your destination, our system tells you the date, month, and year you will be debt free. The monthly max, the Money Max account is math. It's all about the math. And here is some good news the time it takes you to update the system can be done in as little as 20 minutes per month. But I caution you, you might elect to spend more time. I do because it's exhilarating and I always find it to be time well spent. Here at United Financial Freedom, we say the results speak for themselves. To date, we have helped our clients pay down well over $2 billion of principal. I didn't say interest savings, I said principal. The reality is no matter what your financial goals, the only way you can achieve them is to eliminate debt. Debt is a blockade, a barricade, a hindrance to your financial future. It is critical to remove the debt from the equation. Would you believe for the average person, 39 cents of every dollar earned goes to paying interest on debt? You heard that correctly, 39 cents for every dollar. Can you imagine getting a 39% raise? 
folks, I'm talking no additional work without having to work harder, without working longer hours, just by getting rid of the debt. The average person would realize a 39% increase in quality of life. I submit to you that that is huge. Well, as we begin our wrap up, I'm asked all the time, will this system work for me? And the truth of the matter is, I don't know, but it is time to find out. And the best thing you can do right now is to get back with the United Financial Freedom Agent who invited you and get your free savings report. If you were invited by email or Facebook, go back to that invite to get the contact information for your agent. The savings report will let you know the precise month and year you can become debt free using the Money Max account. Well, folks, we have come to the end of our time together as that concludes our presentation. I want to congratulate you for taking the first step toward becoming debt free by attending this webinar. It has been my profound pleasure to be your host this evening, and I'd like to leave you with this thought. The only difference between where you are and where you want to be is the steps that you haven't taken yet. Again, this has been Take Action Partners urging you to take action now. Ladies and gentlemen, I bid you good night and have an enjoyable rest of your evening.